TV. And as you can see, there is a brand new, really creepy backdrop behind me. If you've been following me for a long time, I always do like weird horror or Halloween backdrops starting in September, and then obviously in October as well. And as weird as this is, I love it. Creepy ghost hands behind me, yes, living. So because there is a new backdrop, that means I'll be announcing the winner from last month. That contest was over on Instagram. I asked you guys to send me your last five emojis that you used, and the winner is Genzar68. And the last emojis that they used was a purple heart, a crying laughing face, a cupcake, a goat, a sheep? and the heart around the face emoji. So thank you to everybody that entered. If you would like to enter for this creepy backdrop behind me, we're gonna do a little bit differently this time. This time I'm doing the contest on Instagram and Twitter. So if you're following me on both, you have double the chance to win. So first follow me on Instagram, it is jessiev, and DM me the ghost emoji and then the hand emoji to represent this backdrop. And then go to my Twitter, it's also jessiev, give it a follow and tweet me the ghost emoji and the hand emoji. If you only have one, that is okay, but that just means that you have less chances to win. If you have both and can follow me on both, you have a higher chance that I will either see your tweet to me or your DM on Instagram. I'll be announcing the winner in a few weeks. Oh, and you also have to be following me on here, so subscribe to this channel, Jessie V, and turn on your notification bell. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking once again about the stairs in the woods phenomenon. Many of you may remember that I did a video on this about two years ago. I talked about what it was, I told a couple stories, but there are hundreds of creepy, eerie, paranormal stories about people who have found random staircases in the woods and bad things have happened to them. So this video is sort of a continuation, me telling you more creepy stories about these stairs. You're just not ready for this. Before I get into it though, I just wanted to let you know that we have a new alien light up plushie, but this time because Halloween is coming up, we made it a cat one. I cannot believe that they have cat alien light up plushies right now. These are going so quickly. I haven't even promoted it yet and you guys have found it and are buying it. So thank you so much. If you would like one, I have linked it down below and it has the little Jesse V choker on there too. So I love it. Oh, and the crystal bat necklace that I'm wearing right now is also available on the website. If you want some spooky vibes, everything is linked down below. Okay, so in case you're new here or maybe you have no idea what the stairs and the woods phenomenon is, I'm briefly going to summarize it for you. Recently, the internet has been abuzz with reports of isolated staircases popping up in national forests around the world. Found deep in the woods where no man has been or no one lives, you'll find staircases with no other structure attached to them. They're just a staircase. Some of the staircases are brick, others are wooden. Some staircases look to be ruins and others are perfectly stable. But regardless, all of these staircases have one thing in common. They reach up to the canopy, extending seemingly to nowhere at all. Some people have said that these staircases have been as far as 60 kilometers into a forest, which is baffling. One theory states that they are nothing more than the foundations left by lost settlements. Others believe that they are a gateway to another dimension, maybe even hell, people say. It's difficult to conceive what these staircases are doing placed in national parks around the globe, as those who have encountered them report feeling unnerved and otherwise unwelcome in their presence. And there are a lot of bad things that have happened to people who have attempted to climb them. Now there are a lot of famous random staircases in the woods. For example, and I'm going to butcher this name, there is the Etruscan Pyramid of Bamarzo. In Italy, this is a large stone megalith with stairs that lead to a small platform at the top. Scholars believe the structure dates to the 7th century BCE or before. No one knows what really took place on these steps. However, it is believed that there were sacrifices of animals and people. Then there's one called Madame Sherry Stairs. In Chesterfield, New Hampshire, a set of stairs in the woods has earned a legendary reputation. Although not a true mystery, the staircase rouses curiosity. Now there is a story behind these stairs. During the 1920s, there was a Parisian music hall singer and her name was Madame 
Antoinette Cherie, and she built her castle in the woods to sort of be like her summer retreat. Now, it wasn't literally a castle, she just wanted to sort of make it look like one. It was a rustic French chateau with a stunning stone staircase, complete with Roman arches that led to the second floor. Madame Cherie held lavish parties, and rumors have it that scandalous things went on there. However, when she went into poverty, she abandoned her chateau, and in 1962, the castle actually burned down, and now the stairs are the only thing that remains there. And people say that when they go close to it, or when they're around it, they get some very strange vibes and feel very uneasy and unwelcome. Then we have a story called The Staircase of Missing Time, and this took place in the Philippines. And this is actually one of the earliest reports of random staircases in the woods. Torquic was an experienced ranger and was often tasked with searching for missing people in the local jungles. This was something that occurred on a regular basis because the jungles and forests in the area tend to be dense and difficult to safely navigate. So his job was literally to go and look for people who disappeared or, or never came back after they went into the jungle. Torquic claimed that he found two staircases that led deep into the forest. So out of curiosity to get a higher vantage point of the forest ahead of him, Torquic decided to climb the stairs. Now apparently the very first staircase was this stone structure with decorative carvings on it, and the second staircase looked like something that someone had put together just out of natural stone. Now Torquic did not see any sign of missing backpackers, but he did see a stray dog that appeared vicious towards him. So he ran further up the stairs to avoid the dog. Unsuccessful and not able to find these missing backpackers, he returned to civilization. But when he arrived back at his ranger station, he was suddenly fired from his job. And he was told some very strange and baffling news. From his perspective, he had only been out searching for a few hours. But what they told him was that he had been out on patrol for five years. And his crew thought that he had just ditched the job and ran away. And it's so creepy because a lot of people who have experienced stairs in the woods and who have climbed them have been missing for years and suddenly return home thinking they had only been gone for like an hour. Then we have the ghostly staircase in Sweden. Another tale about a staircase in the woods involves two Swedish students who were out hiking. Axel and Isaac had been traveling for miles and presumably came across a staircase in a clearing miles away from anywhere. They were both puzzled by seeing it and couldn't decide what to do. Axel wanted nothing to do with the stairs, but Isaac was much more daring and much more curious, so he decided to climb it. The instant he reached the top, the two boys heard this blood-curdling scream. It scared them so much that they ran down the stairs and started to run away. Eventually, they stopped running to try to recover their breath, and that's when someone put a hand on the back of Axel's shoulder. And assuming it to be Isaac, he glanced backward. But he saw that Isaac was standing way, way far behind him, so it could not have been him. He had no idea who had touched him, but it left this cold handprint on him. And lastly, we have another story about a ranger who found a staircase in the woods. He was with his partner when he discovered this, and they both thought this to be so weird. Nonetheless, one of the men climbed to the top and held out his hand to grab the branch of a tree. And at that moment, something cut his hand off, like clean off. Whatever caused this was a complete mystery, and they were never able to find his hand, which was baffling. But it made him bleed profusely, obviously, so they had to run back to camp immediately. A different ranger reported about a time when he saw a woman head up some similar stairs, and she complained that something was wrong with her before she collapsed and died. Later, authorities determined that she had died from a sudden severe aneurysm. So all of these stories are absolutely terrifying to me, and you might think I'm insane, but Ty and I were doing some serious research, and we actually found in a forest in Ontario a set of steps that people are claiming to be terrifying, and we're gonna travel there, and we're gonna vlog it. So stay tuned for that. I'm really, really scared. Apparently there are 99 stairs up this staircase, so it's a really tall one in the middle of the forest. So we're gonna go there. Pray for me. Anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do a third part to this, there are so many more stories I can talk about. So give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do that. Don't forget, if you would like the new cat alien plushie, I've linked it down below along with this crystal bat necklace. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!